Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to build a enslavement camp inside home plating Fallout 4. So to do this build successfully you will need one mod. The mod is called Home Plate Workshop Settlement. It's pretty self-explanatory, it basically just lets you use buildings that you usually wouldn't be able to use when building in home plate. It also has an odd feature that actually ends up helping us. It makes this part of the room dirt instead of the normal concrete. I want to sort of start off by building the area where the slaves will be working. I want the slaves to work on food supply and connect a supply line from home plate to sanctuary. Right now I am just blocking off one of the entrances so nobody can walk in or out. Since it leads to the slave work area, it doesn't really make sense for there to be a door to the outside. If you're wondering how I am building fences in the air I am using a mod called Scrap Everywhere. I couldn't find this mod on Xbox nor PS4. So I think PC is the only platform with access to this mod. If you want to check out my whole mod list, it will be linked down below. I needed to figure out the bed situation, so what I just did was place two sleeping bags on the ground. I removed the bed that is by default upstairs, I did this just in case the game randomly assigns a settler to sleep there. Next I wanted to make a door, but not one that settlers could go through. It wouldn't be 100% immersive to allow settlers to go in and out of the work area. I settled with the shack powered door that you get from the Wasteland Workshop DLC. To power the door I found a mod on the main menu mod browser called Fusebox Generator Plus. I have no idea if PS4 or Xbox users can use this or not. Next I wanted to work on the garden. This is what the slaves will be working on the whole time they are there. I didn't know how much food one settler could work on. So I freeballed this part. I want some sort of defense system in the game. So I got these turret stands from the workshop rearranged mod. Now using creative clutter I put some work tools around the room. Getting settlers isn't that difficult. I just used a mod called cheat terminal to spawn in random settlers. Huh? Let's trade some things. I had to dress these slaves appropriately. So for one I used the children of Adam rags, and for the other I used tattered rags. Apparently one settler can work on more than six plants, so I had to improvise. I settled with added a scavenger station. I assigned the slaves to their jobs and beds, but I felt that having a turret watching over the slaves wasn't 100% immersive, so I wanted to add a guard. Luckily Workshop Rearranged adds these small mats that act as guard posts. I am all pretty much done with the slave workroom, but I wanted to decorate the whole house. So here is the tour on the complete build.
hi how are you yeah